In this tutorial, we will cover the retouch tools in the retouch tab. Thanks to these tools, you can make super quick, high quality adjustments focusing on different areas. Three tools are available, focusing on face and skin adjustments, teeth and eyes. Let's start with the retouch face and skin tool. The blemish slider will help you get rid of skin imperfections. This slider will try to avoid beauty marks and other particularities of the subject. However, you can manually mark additional areas to protect using the blemish protection brush here. Right click on the image to adjust the brush settings and mark any blemish you wish to protect. Easily reduce dark circles by using this slider. Use the even skin sliders to even out contrast differences on larger surfaces of the skin whilst retaining texture and highlights. Increase the amount slider to even out the differences in the skin. The texture slider has a default setting of zero that's more on the natural side. You can reduce this for a more aggressive result or increase it for a more subtle look. Both blemish removal and even skin cover the face area and neck area by default. If you want to remove the neck area, then uncheck this box. The contouring slider will apply a slight burn effect, darkening the shadows naturally present on the face for a more styled effect. The overall impact of the retouch face and skin tool can be moderated by adjusting the impact slider. This prevents having to adjust multiple sliders to reduce or increase an effect. Retouch teeth will both brighten and desaturate teeth with their respective sliders. Retouch eyes will brighten and add detail to the iris and desaturate and brighten the sclera. The left and right tabs allow individual control of each eye if the result needs to be balanced. Let's now look at using the tool for groups of people using the retouch selector tool. We can adjust all faces at the same time or click on each of the faces to make individual adjustments. You can reset the retouch of an individual person by clicking here, or you can reset the whole tool by clicking here. Please note, this tool doesn't involve face recognition and face numbers are always assigned from left to right based on their position in the image. To copy paste the retouch adjustments from one group of people in one photo to another, make sure the subjects are in the same position. Finally, presets can be saved for any of the retouch tools or incorporated into a style. Note that the retouch adjustments can also be used while tethering.